5 p.m. tonight, we will find out who we're facing in guitar. Welcome back to my channel. As you heard in the intro, at five o'clock tonight, we will find out who we got in our World Cup group. As you heard, um, we've got we've got the likes of I can't remember off the top of my head now. I will put in the video. Um, we've got the likes of Sp uh, Spain in our group, Portugal in our group, France in our group, Argentina in our group. So all these decent sides are in our group we're all in pot one we're all in pot one so that means we cannot i repeat cannot draw each other um so until the um a later date in the in the, the tournament if we get that far but some of the names i just thought i'd come on here and do a little quick video i won't go overboard because i will show the the results um of the of the pots in this video anyway um, so, so, so some of the teams we could get, we could get Croatia, we could get Netherlands, we could get either Scotland, Wales, or, um, yeah, sorry, we could either get Scotland or Wales, um, or, um, who else could we get, who else did they say, Netherlands, we could get Netherlands, um, Germany, we need to avoid Germany in my opinion, because I think from last summer, I think they're going to be so much, I think they're going to be angry, Germany, I think they're going to be angry, I think they're going to be a different animal, especially now under a new head coach, but listen, to win the World Cup, to win the World Cup, we're going to need to play these best teams, uh, the, the best teams in the world anyway, um, thank God we um, are in pot one, along with the likes of France, along with the likes of Argentina and Portugal and all them good teams, because that means we're going to try and avoid them until a later date. So, um, I would have Denmark in, my in our group, wouldn't mind them. I wouldn't mind someone like a Tunisia or something, um, a, like I said, a Netherlands, I, I'd do Netherlands. Um, yeah, so um, I, I think I'm going to end this video here. I just thought I'd jump on just to tell you what are the scenarios. Yes, it is a bit confusing, but um, in, the, in the conclusion, we will not be facing in our group France, Spain, Ger um, France, Spain, Portugal, Argentina, or, yeah, there's one other team I forgot now, but I will show the groups in this video. And the groups, the pots in this video, and um, yeah, keep an eye out for five o'clock because tonight, because we will f find out who we will get in our group for the 2022 World Cup. Don't fear anyone. If we want to, if we want to win the World Cup, we got to beat the best. So bring it on. Come on, you three lines. Pot one consists of the host guitar, Brazil. Belgium, France, Argentina, England, Spain, and Portugal. Fun. This is part two. Are we ready? Uh, these are countries who England could be drawn against. Uh, the highest ranked side, according to FIFA's ranking, uh, is Mexico. Uh, then we have the Netherlands, of course, managed by Louis van Gaal. Uh, Denmark who did so well to get to the semi-finals of the Euros last summer when they were unlucky to lose out to England. Of course, uh, hopefully Christian Eriksen will be playing for them uh, at this World Cup as well. And then we've got Germany. Now, I'm sure England uh, will be hoping to avoid them uh, in the group stages. Uruguay as well. England have got uh, a pretty mixed record when it comes to playing. Europe. I bet we get Germany. Suarez and Edison Cavani up front. Uh, also in pot two, we've got Switzerland, uh, the USA, and 
Croatia, who England were beaten by in the semi-finals of the last World Cup. Uh, top three, the highest ranked side in top three is Senegal, who are of course the champions of... Africa. Any of them, please. Any of them, please. In goal. Uh, then we've got Iran, one of the best sides in Asia. Uh, always very, very tough to beat uh, in major tournaments in Iran. Normally, uh, they come uh, looking to grind out results and hit teams on the break. Uh, top three also, we've got Japan, uh, Morocco, Serbia, who, uh, uh, of course, have got uh, Mitrovic playing up front for them. Any of them. Uh, Poland, South Korea and Tunisia. Now, Tunisia, England uh, were in the same group as them at the World Cup in Russia uh, four years ago, and England actually needed a last-minute winner from Harry Kane to win that game 2-1. Uh, Top four, uh, Cameroon. I think a lot of people were surprised that they are only in uh, Top four uh, when you consider their record at major tournaments. And then we've got Canada, who are side on the up, Ecuador, Saudi Arabia, who uh, the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, uh, was speaking about yesterday at his press conference. He was saying that he's been uh, very impressed by how quickly football is developing in Saudi Arabia. And then we've got this sort of anomaly of the sides who haven't yet qualified definitely uh, for the World Cup. Uh, we're still waiting for the results of some of these playoffs. So it could be Ukraine or Scotland or Wales. And then we've got an intercontinental playoff uh, between Costa Rica and New Zealand. So one of those two will be in the World Cup finals as well. And then finally, uh, a playoff will decide who out of the United Arab Emirates, Australia or Peru uh, makes it to Qatar. One thing uh, I should point out as well is that this is the last time we're going to have this format at a World Cup final. Uh, because in the next World Cup Finals, 2026, USA, Canada and Mexico, uh, the World Cup is going to be 48 teams. It's going to go up from 32 to 48 teams. And FIFA have decided that they're going to be 16 groups of three teams. And the top two teams uh, from those 16 groups will go uh, into the next stage of the competition. So this is the last time. Ralph, that's hard as a win then. Thanks.